Blather 9. I've been collecting comics, well, probably since the 70s. Um, well, not so much collecting them, but my first comics came probably, possibly from mum and dad. I don't really know for sure. But generally at Fates, St. Pat's School Fates, I used to collect comics. I remember things like Richie Rich and uh, it was a Pink Panther comic from that Pink Panther. It, it was the Pink Panther movie thing, but the, it was that Pink Panther cartoon that goes with the movie. And it was a Pink Panther thing. I remember that he was in the comics. And, uh, but Richie Rich, I remember. And uh, it was probably Casper, a little bit of Casper maybe. And um, other things, can't really remember for sure. But I know somewhere in the mid 80s, probably about 1985, I started collecting Eagle comics from um, the news agents. Eagle comics had been relaunched. Eagle comics were a British comic, which ruled in, I think, the 1950s or something and, um, in Britain. And it might have got into the 1960s, but they relaunched to the 1980s with Thunderbolt and Smokey and uh, I think Doom Skull or something like that. And if, Dan Dare and a few other things, and they were um, real life sort of mock up comics, not not art comics. I think there might have been some. Dan Dare was an art comic, but they were, they were photograph comics and, and, and compilations in the Eagle Comics magazine. And um, I collected that from issue one for quite a while, about twenty odd issues. I never know, knew what happened to my those Eagle comics. They disappeared one day, but um, Mum probably gave them to charity or something. But um, I remember once in Sydney, my uncle, I think it was my uncle Keith possibly, or Uncle Kevin, um, I'm not 100% sure which one it was, but probably Uncle Kevin, but they bought me, a, it could have been Uncle Keith, got me, got, bought me a, one of the issues of Evil Comics, it was in a news agent's, probably was, uh, probably was Uncle Keith, because it was a news agent's in Ride, at the Ride shops, the main Ride shopping district, where there's um, the, the mall, and a further over, past the mall, Further to the south, there's a, there was a news agent, and um, I'm pretty sure it was a ride where I where I got a, a an issue of the Eagle Comics, and um, but for the most part, I collected them from um, Percy's news agents in Cooma, and sometimes Vale Street's news agents. I would imagine I've got a few issues from there, and uh, really, I probably should look at tracking some of those down one of these days. Some some old Eagles again, just to have them for my collection again. Um, but they were collected and I also collected a Beano well probably Beano, I can't remember Chips or something or whatever, I can't remember the exact title of the the other British comics I collected sort of like, you know with Nasher from um, Dennis the Menace, those co comics with those sorts of characters in them and uh, Viz is one which was always advertised but I never got Viz V-I-Z, but it was um, from those sorts of publishers and um, I, I collected those for a while. I, I can't remember what it was called, but um, they were they were sort of kids, young young kids comics, teen comics maybe. And um, I collected Bean. Well, I don't think it was Beano, but I'm not sure. It was something else, but um, equivalents to that sort of stuff. I collected for a while, but then that that finished. That was like year six or something. Year year six. I remember those sorts of comics and. Um, There was possibly British uh, Eagle Comics later after that or before that. I can't remember how it all worked, but uh, then there was Eagle Comics, and then it died down. And I collected a few comics from School Fates and stuff. But in 1987, I had a comic at home, which was probably from a Fate. It was an Australian. It was it was a DC comic, but from an Australian publisher, and it was a Flash comic. And I actually bothered for once decided to read a full-length superhero comic. I thought it was a pretty cool story. So I wandered down to the news agents and I found, ironically enough, a copy of Flash number one, the, the 1987 relaunch. And um, I bought the first issue. Number two and number three never showed up, but I started collecting the other DC comics. And that began what I'd say is probably the serious spurt. Of well, the Eagle comics were serious enough, but it was it was the spurt of comic collecting, which came in phases over the years, but which has lasted to this day. And uh, even though I've sacrificed my comics a number of times, I've got a collection now which is from about 2015, 16, I can't remember which year it's from. Some go back to 2015 when I collected them. And there's, oh, I've probably got nearly 3,000 comics in my current collection. And um, most, 
99% DC, but there is some Marvel and Independents uh, on a shelf, so there are other things as well. Um, but I'm a panopictographist, which is a comic collector. And uh, comic collecting is one of the things which um, is a big hobby of mine. I also collect uh, comic. I also uh, comics is a big hobby of mine and gives me a lot of satisfaction. But comics are not the only thing I collect. I also collect stamps, even though I don't, as of yet, take much of a fuss on what the stamp particularly is. I just buy I, my brother when he died, Matt when he died. I inherited his basic stamp collection, and I I filled out that stamp book, and I bought five more since, which I filled out. And I've got a, a tin. Here's a tin, actually. Um, they're, they're stamp sheet things, but uh, I'll just take them out. Sort of, there's another stamp sheet. They're, they're stamps as well. whole stack of um, stamps I've been collecting on eBay and in the mail. And um, I've just about got enough for another album, I would imagine, soon enough. is just about enough to fill another album. It probably needs a few more, because I'm re stamp albums actually, the, the size I buy, take quite a bit to fill. So it's not quite enough for a stamp album yet, but I could buy another one anyway, if I if I filled it. So um, soon enough I'll get my seventh stamp album, an A4 size sort of stamp album, that, which I buy. It's a particular make, which I buy each time on, on eBay. And I'll go on with collecting my stamps. And I enjoy collecting stamps, and uh, it, there, are, there actually are some which uh, cost a little bit in there. So I, I spend a bit for some of them. and. Uh, I like collecting stamps. I am a stamp collector. Stamp collector! I am a stamp collector. But I also inherited a coin collection from Matt, and I'm gradually collecting coins as well, so I'm a numismatist as well. A stamp collector is a flatulist, and a coin collector is a numismatist. But I also collect video games, primarily Sega Mega Drive games, and I would imagine there is an official name for a video game collector. And I collect books, which is probably a bibliophile or something like that. And uh, I collect music CD, I collect music records and CDs and tape cassettes. So whatever you call a music collector, I collect, I collect them. I collect DVDs, uh, a lot of superhero DVDs. I've got a chunk of Marvel and DC movies, and nearly all of them at the moment, um, all the main Marvel movies. On the website, on the internet, you can type into Google a list of Marvel movies or list of DC films and stuff like that and it brings up a wiki, wiki and you can get the Wikipedia article article of all the official DC movies and Marvel movies and uh, I've nearly got all of them on hand at the moment like 40 odd Marvel movies there and 35 DCs or something, 30 DCs well, quite a few anyway I've got there up in the book, bookcase just there and um, check of other movies, I've got all the Star Wars movies Except I need the, well, the holiday special from the 70s, which actually now is available on DVD. You can actually get the holiday special. So I need that to complete my collection. I've got every Star Wars movie, including the Ewoks ones and so forth. And uh, the, the Star Wars solo story movies, I've got all them. So I'm a big Star Wars fan. And uh, yeah, so that, I collect them also. And um, uh, DVDs and CDs and things and books and comics. I collect magazines as well, and uh, that, that's ephemeral, ephemeral stuff, I think it's called. And I'm not sure the official name, an ephemeris, ephemeris or something like that, I think it's probably the name. Apart from that, I collect, uh, I do collect Star Wars figurines, and I collect Smurfs. I collect trading cards, mostly NRL trading cards, but cricket one also, cricket ones also, and I've had heaps of them over the years. I've got a current collection, and... Um, I collect, yeah, magazines, uh, a few newspapers, and, uh, well, plush toys, but that's sort of, sort of a bit limited in as much as I've, I've got about 30 of them in the room, and I've not really any major intentions for constantly building my plush toy collection. That's pretty much a limited sort of thing with a, with a finished sort of thing to it. I've got a board game collection, but I don't go around collecting more and more board games, because I haven't got any more room, quite frankly. But I do have a board games collection and a um, collection of little cat fi figurines and stuff. I've got a collection of figurines and snow globes as well. I've got a snow globes collection and a lot of pussycats in the figurines collection. So I am a collector and I suppose softly, over the long haul of life, given the fact that I've 
my current collection in my room, which is quite a lot of stuff, is probably about, maybe about 10% of the stuff I've owned in life so far, because I've sacrificed it all, I've sort of recycled it all, because that's just a thing which got into my head a long time ago, I did that for years. I haven't done that now for a few years, it's been very stable in my collection. But um, I'm, one of the things I've sort of said is that I softly work on trying to have the world's best collection when I die, of all up. Not the best collection of comics or the best collection of books or, or anything individually, but all up, the world's best collection of, well, a collection of, of things, I suppose. So that's something I softly work upon. I'm not trying to do it gung-ho style. But I am softly working on, working on having the world's best collection. And I don't know if it could ever really be measured, but um, I'd, I'd be happy enough just to place in the end if I just placed. And, uh, and uh, the top 1% would probably do me in the end. But um, yeah, that's Blather, Blather 9, just about my collection of things. Cheers.